Need some coins or MT for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the fastest and cheapest coins anywhere, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. About 10 seconds after I posted my morning video going over the AK players and everything, this pack comes into the store, and I guess we have a new promo in the game, something to do with Snickers. Now, I do want to give a shout out to a user for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subs to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. And also, guys, today is Monday, so we do have Monday Night Football, and we have some NBA games as well. So if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit up to $100. And follow me over on Twitter for my picks. My picks are probably already up by the time this video goes live, or will be up very soon. Also, guys, this video should include the content schedule and i'm probably gonna throw my team league predictions or at least a couple of team league predictions in this video as well uh but the snickers promo what is it honestly i don't know we're gonna find out right here so as you guys can see round number one uh there are a bunch of 83 overall players to choose between and you only get to choose one Obviously, the Cowboys fan, you already know where I'm going, and I'm going to go with C.D. Lamb. Now, in round number two, though, these players are not playing like themselves, and they are hungry to complete challenges to earn a Snickers collectible. Use the collectible to get the player to play like themselves. Okay, so it looks like you have some solos to do where you get a collectible, and then you can upgrade these cards, and that's exactly what it is. So you guys can see right here, uh, you get to upgrade them up to an 88 overall so you're going to be able to get an 89 speed CD lamb with 90 acceleration, uh, 89 catching as well. I'll see if maybe I can find uh, where to showcase for you guys all of the players like upgraded to an 88. I'm sure I could maybe look that up over on mutt.gg. As you guys can see right here, we have the Snickers solo challenges. So at five stars, you get a collectible. So pretty simple stuff. Uh, get four plus first downs in six plays. Probably nothing really all that hard at all. Which I tried looking over on mud.gg to be able to showcase for you guys all the stats on the cards, whatever, but it's actually not even up over on mud.gg yet, so yeah, just go with whatever player you want. They're only 88 overalls, they're they're not really that good. One other thing I do want to mention though about these Snickers players, as you guys can see, they do get some discounted abilities. So if you go with Diggs, he gets short and elite for one AP, outside apprentice for two, uh, for Najee gets reach for for one AP, bruiser for two AP, CD gets mid out for one, and match of nightmare for two, and then Debo gets mid and elite for one and jukebox for two. And now here is the content schedule for this week, guys. So as you guys can see, we actually only have two ea streams this week which is understandable because of course we have thanksgiving on thursday and that's usually the third stream of the week would be on thursdays uh so we only have a stream tomorrow and wednesday morning at 10 30 then we have the ak promo which is today team of the week tomorrow and blitz on thursday is when that's going to be at 8 p.m eastern time i will say i was curious to see if we were gonna have a harvest promo release on thursday i didn't know if maybe they were gonna have like uh you know thanksgiving kind of special in the morning or whatever maybe they will maybe they will have some sort of like harvest ltds or something but i feel like they would have been highlighted here and then legends on saturday if you think this is kind of like a you know slow week for content it's not blitz is going to be insane thursday probably through monday that's when they did it last year was thursday through monday we're gonna have like stuff every couple of hours so it's gonna be absolutely insane make sure you guys turn the notification bell on and let's get into my team of the week predictions so let's get into my team of the week predictions guys i'm gonna be going over who i think the offensive hero will be who i think the defensive hero will be and i think we're also gonna get a record breaker ltd so my offensive hero of the week and this is obviously completely unbiased should be tony pollard 189 total yards and two touchdowns and an absolute just beat down of the vikings 40 to 3 it was absolutely magnificent as a cowboys fan to watch that game uh, if you're a vikings fan sorry but Tony Pollard absolutely balled out, and a majority of those yards, by the way, were through the air. I believe he actually had two receptions of 30-plus yard touchdowns, like two 30-plus yard touchdowns uh, through the air. He is the only running back, I think, in the NFL 
to have a touchdown at 30 plus yards like as a receiving touchdown that is uh the entire season maybe there was like one other one i saw a stat this morning about it but pretty much tony pollard did some crazy stuff two 30 plus yard receiving touchdowns as a running back and just absolutely destroyed the minnesota vikings and i do think that tony pollard would be an incredible team of the week card uh just to be honest though i don't think he would be the best running back that we get with team of the week this week so now we need to talk about the team of the week defensive hero and i'm gonna let you guys know right now i don't think nick bolton is going to get it and the reason why i don't think he's gonna get it is because he has a 79 i think he is way more likely to get a high overall card i think he's gonna get like a 90 overall team of the week uh he had a great stat line though which is the only reason i'm mentioning him here because if i didn't mention him i feel like chiefs fans would tear me apart in the comment section he had 14 tackles a forced fumble and an interception nick bolton i think absolutely could get the defensive team of the week hero However, I don't think that he will get the defensive hero. And that's because I think that Max Crosby, who had two sacks, a forced fumble, and a blocked kick, by the way, is going to get the defensive hero uh, player of the week. And the reason why I think that is because it's Max Crosby, right? He has a higher overall card, an 84 overall, kind of a bigger name player as well. Uh, I could definitely see Crosby getting this. Now, do I think the card would be crazy? As an 84 overall, this card had 78 speed, 81 excel, 77 block shed, 84 finesse move. If they juice him up a little bit, I do think that Crosby could be a very, very good card. And I would not be shocked at all to see Max Crosby get the defensive team of the week hero. But to be completely honest with you guys, I think my favorite team of the week card this week could be and should be Cordero Patterson. Now, the only thing that I wish was a little bit different about this card is he was bigger, right? He's 220 pounds, but last year they had him listed at like 238. So I don't know what happened. They dropped him 18 pounds in weight. But for those guys that didn't know, Cordero Patterson had a kick return touchdown this week, which actually broke the record, which is what people get LTDs for nowadays, right? Record breaker LTDs for most kick return touchdowns in NFL history. So I do think that we will see Cordero Patterson get a record breaker LTD and I think this would be a pretty solid team of the week if you ask me Tony Pollard offensive team of the week hero would be a very very fast card a very elusive running back good break tackle great catching as well and then of course Max Crosby could be a pretty solid defensive end and top it all off with a record breaker LTD Cordero who would have good speed 220 pounds and an incredible receiving back i think i would probably rather have cordero patterson over tony power to be honest with you guys in terms of you're picking up one of these two cards uh because patterson's probably gonna be ridiculous but with that being said guys those are my team of the week predictions that is the content schedule and the new snickers promo so let me know down below what you guys think about it and let me know your guys's team of the week predictions and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys drop a like on it and of course hit that sub button down below check out underdog fantasy and use code zerk to match first deposit up to 100 dollars and i will see you guys potentially later tonight with some team of the week reveals and if you guys enjoyed this video check out these